Hello everyone. Welcome to the Silver Life. Living the Silver Life Home and Garden. Sorry. <laughs> I changed the name I keep forgetting it. Uh, Living the Silver Life Home and Garden. And I'm Edith. Living the Silver Life. <laughs> uh, how is everybody doing? I'm doing good. I'm okay. For all my friends and my family that are concerned about me in the civil life, I want you to know that I'm doing, I'm, I'm well, I'm okay. I'm following all the guidelines. And I went back to not going out. Remember I went out on a couple of trips to uh, Goodwill. I went to the Goodwill like three times. That was in, at the end of the summer though. And uh, I didn't go. I don't think I even went in. Maybe the last weekend, maybe the first part of September, I went one more time. And then I went to Lowe's to the garden shop. And it was real spooky because nobody was there. And it was hardly nothing in there. But now it's really full. But I'm not going out anymore. I'm back to just living in the silver life, doing what I do. Working in my yard, working in my house. That's what I'm doing. What are you doing? Okay, oh, and before I get started, uh, stop doing, I'm always doing something with my hand. Fid my, my husband said I'm always fiddling with my hands. <laughs> anyway, uh, before I get started on this video that we're going to do today, I wanted to say that uh, the CDC came out with new guidelines. And since my my uh, video is geared to people that's living in the civil life or in disability or chronic pain or having an illness that you have to struggle with all the time. Like me, I have chronic pain <laughs> because of my back and I'm trying to stay out of a wheelchair. <laughs> so um, anyway, they came out with new guidelines for people that are in the civil life 75 years or older and they said I just saw this news report and they said for people 70 65 years not 75 65 years or older to not go in the grocery store to have your to not go in stores where people don't wear masks to don't go in public places they didn't say stores they said don't go to public places where people don't wear masks so and they also said they advise that you get your have your groceries and your uh, prescriptions delivered and that is very doable that's possible they will deliver to you you can um go to whatever your store if it if it's a large enough store if you have a store that's large enough uh, like a kroger's or in texas we have heb uh i don't know what other stores but i know they do it my daughter works i have a daughter that works for a kroger and i have pharmacy and i have a daughter that works at at the hgb and um in the service division section area in the front and um they you can order your food and i i've actually seen them in there the the co-workers in there um and they go pick it all out and they'll deliver it to your front door and you can have your um prescriptions and anything else uh if you're on social security and you're on a certain kind of insurance i don't know what kind you have but um they will they pref they actually prefer that you get your prescriptions by mail so there you go one more tip a tip for you in the civil life in your life if you're disabled and so just try to stay safe everyone i have i know people i know someone right now that's dealing with covid this person doesn't have it but her her children has had it and her two of her children have had it and um another one is has it now so it is real so stay safe out there okay so for this video i'm doing a christmas um sconce in my office because you know i'm starting over now i'm going to do christmas in the front where we're doing a what christmas ballet <laughs> 
And this is the arrangement that I made for the sconce. I haven't put it in there yet. I'm going to show it to you. But first of all, look at this beautiful magnolia that came from uh, Hobby Lobby. I didn't actually go to Hobby Lobby. I got this about, I had this, I, I got it in a haul. And I will actually link that haul so you can see all the things that, that I uh, got in that haul. But uh, my daughter went to the store, to Hobby Lobby, and she picked up this for me and she also got the um some um ballet shoes and something else i don't know what else i don't, I don't remember but i'll link it back anyway and so in the interest of not going out i just took things that i already had and put them together to make this beautiful floor arrangement christmas floor arrangement for my skunks that's in my office i have two of them and they're metal and i don't know if it's tuscan style i don't know what style that is but i love it it's kind of shaped like a kind of triangular with a flat bottom but i'll show it to you so i'm going to show you how i put this together it's very simple these are things that i already had these most a lot of these things uh were on my tablescape for thanksgiving which i will link that tablescape so you can see that's this is what was in the middle and uh these greenery things was on a sconce already and i took it took it down and then i had these little pine cones so now i'm gonna put it together and show you how it looks hold on so this is just some leaves that kind of have a little glittery um overlay on it it's very 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 um, light not a lot this is uh one stem and i bent it like this i'm probably gonna have to bend it a little more i think it's gonna be too tall but i'm gonna try it like this first and then this is the other leaf and it looks like this so and it has a little berry on it and um they're kind of like a they're uh, like a multicolor a little glitter on it and the little berry is really dark and to make the the leaves the way these leaves work you see the back of it so i just bit this forward like this so you could it would show and i bent it out forward and out like that and turn the leaves around as much as i could to so you could see the actual front part of the leaf because that's what we're trying to show you that's what i want you to see so i just bent it forward like that and then the other thing was a one peak of uh greenery that has a little pine cone on it it has like three uh four little pine cones see them they came from michael's uh last year at the after christmas sale and then these are little pine cones that came from um uh, dollar tree so so and this is the stem the magnolia it is long but I don't know how, what I'm going to actually use it in. It was uh, $9.99 and it was 50% off. So, um, I'm going to just bend the stem like this. I'm going to bend it like three times, bend it in half, and then bend it over a little more like that. And then bend the leaf forward. So... To layer it all together, I just took this leaf and layered this on top like that. Like that. And then I layered this in the back. I'm going to layer this on this side because the other one was on the other side. So like that and then the pine cone uh, I put them 
I just held it all in my hand and put it together. I put them on the uh, on the opposite side, and I just pulled them out where you could see them. More of them, and then I took the magnolia bloom, which is huge, and held it all in my hand like that. You see that? So it's going to look just like that, but it's going to sit inside of a skunk. So I'm going to put it inside of the skunk. To hold it together, I have a zip tie. And I'm going to put a zip tie. I have actually two zip ties. I'm going to put the zip tie on it so it'll all stay together and won't fall out of it before I get it over there to that skunk. <laughs> which is in my office in front of the sofa where there's a large area rug laying temporarily like this so now it's all together like a bouquet and I'm just gonna stick it down in there and straighten it up the way I want it and we're done Good, yay. Okay, I'm gonna go put it together and let, me, let you see what happened. Let's let you see the finished um, product. Yeah, I like it. Okay, my lovely silvers, look. This is how it turned out. I like it. I like it because it adds color. It adds, um, Green to be a little uh, glam, a little glitter, not a lot. And the glitter on those uh, magnolias, they're not falling out everywhere. I like that. So I think it's beautiful. And I didn't have to go find some ribbon. <laughs> it brought out color without me using ribbon. I'm uh, limited on how much ribbon I can have for this actual um decor challenge that i have in this area so this is how it looks beautiful right and that's the metal uh sconce i love that sconce it's so pretty to me it is a copper kind of a copper or dark brown brass color it has um indentations on it where they um stamp it i don't know well i think there's a, a leaf or a flower but um it's like a burnt copper a tarnished copper color that's what it is and i love it and i think these um gold lightly glittered leaves look very pretty with the green leaves that are lightly glittered also yay less glitter the better glitter is pretty but it's so, so messy so that's it that's my um today's video i'm starting out in my office guys i think it goes well with the color that i need to paint but i don't i i can't paint right now so I just have to make it work. I like it. I think it's okay. You let me know what you think, all right? And in the meantime, stay safe out there. I love you all. Wear your mask, social distance. If you're in the civil life and you're over 65, try to get as many people to go out and help you as possible. And if people are in a place that they don't wear, want to wear a mask, you don't go. Let somebody else go. All right. Take care of yourself. Bye. And know that even in this pandemic, if you're alive, there's hope.